Today I'm doing another painting for a friend. So I will get you set up and we will get started. So like I said, I'm doing another painting for a friend. So two cups, two colors for whatever one I want. Um, I have an idea for what I'm going to do with the black at the end. So I'm going to add it to the Liquitex Fluorescent Blue and Artist Loft Titanium White mix that I need to remix apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very nice pastel -y. bright pastel blue though. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. I don't know why I'm so phlegmy all of a sudden. Uh, this is all I have the fluorescent blue I had left, so I was like, um... Oh. It's no big deal. And the other one I'm going to add it to is... Uh, yeah, that one. Liquitex Basics in Bright Aqua Green. So I add it separately to these cups so I can add silicone to them without actually adding to this because sometimes I don't want silicone in all the colors as you can see. I just want silicone in some of it and then some it's uh, helps with string pulls too because I don't really like silicone in my string pulls. That's not what I wanted. This is one, two, three, okay. <laughs> three it is! So this is another friend painting. She requested pastels and she said her favorite color was seafoam green. Aqua green is what I had. Seafoamy enough, <laughs> I think. Um, I really like this color too, so I can't really blame her too much. So the other colors I shall be using for this are Grumbacher in <clears throat> Dioxazine Purple and uh, Artist Loft Neon Pink in Titanium White mix that I made. Super, super bright. Love it. Uh, I'm also going to add black at the end and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so first... I might add it in the, might add some, no, I won't, okay, never mind. <laughs> Start with this. Like there is like some contrast of um, dark and light, but at the same time there's, um, this is a lot bigger of a cup than normal, so. I don't need too, too much paint, but at the same time, I don't want to be stingy. So I'll do another, um, layer, but it's going to be a little bit different. Add the green. I'm sorry, I know I'm going to be in my own way. My arm doesn't bend, like, backwards, so I'm sorry. So I had the rest of the green that I had. Now I'll add the blue. The rest of the blue I had in the cup. Add pink. Okay, so now I'm gonna put. Oh, before I put the lids on, I'm gonna wipe things down in a minute. Ugh, good enough. I'll use this rag, I guess. No, I won't. Ugh. Ow! Oh, I'm hurting myself. Oh. 
hurt a lot more than I thought it was going to. Ah! I purpled the pink. <laughs> okay. Well. It doesn't really matter if I get other colors on the cup. I just want to clean up what I got going on. Okay, so now that that's doing that, um, I forgot to add the lid back to that. Okay, so I'm going to go like that. <laughs> so the higher I raise it, as you could see, the black cut like through it. I want to see what that's going to do. So tried not adding too much. Matt can sit like that for a second while I stack things off to the side. And put on some gloves. Where'd you go, palette knife? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I love how I called it like it was an animal. Ugh, go me. So I'm going to use Artist's Loft Titanium White as my base color. I'm just trying to move everything out of the way because everything is seems to be in the way. Okay. Oh, a little bit of an angle, not too bad. Okay. So this is a lot thinner because I like having my paint thinner for a base. It sounded so bad, but it's only because it was high. Up high. So this should be enough to cover the entire canvas. And then some. Oh! There was color falling out of that. Okay. I could tell because there was random purple. So I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out because I haven't really played with or made my own pastels before. I really played with pastels <clears throat> when it came to pore painting at all, so I was like, oh, a fresh idea. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. So it was nice. Uh, this is a friend of mine from high school again. Uh, I don't know. And I guess because I wasn't really into my college stuff, I didn't really make friends. <laughs> I made some friends, but it's all good. Uh, tapity tap tap. Clip. Oh yeah, lip it. I had a feeling that lipping it was going to be appropriate. Okay. There's something. There's... Nah. 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 Okay. It's neat so far. Like how the black like cut through made made it different. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, the pink and the green look so neat. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, you pick good colors, girl.
to my own corner. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Shush that bottom piece back up because those are looking fantabulous. Wow. I don't even want to touch it, but I have to. <clears throat> okay. This looks absolutely phenomenal so far. Um. Oh. <laughs> Girl, you. Oh, Ashley, you pick such good colors. So proud. Oh, look at the itty bitty baby cells on this. Oh, that looks so cool! Okay, I'm done with the torch now. <laughs> There's so many cells that decided to just be like, all of a sudden. Oh. Oh, look at everything that decided to come up in here. That's so cool. I would have never ever thought of putting these together. I am so surprised. Oh my goodness. I gotta get you down for a closer look because it's so pretty. I honestly love the ones that come out looking all planetary and stuff. And this is totally one in those books, especially when I added the black to cut it through. Something experimental that I wanted to do on this. The colors were merely honestly like something that she was like, these are my favorite colors. I'm like, okay. Cool. At least you gave me more than one. <laughs> um, like, I have multitudes of colors, so don't get me wrong. This was so cool to do because, well, I got to experiment and make the, the pastel -y colors going on. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments below. Share with your friends to spread the love. Like this video if you like this painting. Look at that perfect cell. Ha! Huh. <laughs> I love it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.